Hi everyone, it's me Hafriz from Polton.org and this is the brand new Perdua Beza. Yes, it's Perdua's all new sedan model, it's first in its history and if you're looking for a new car, this is very, very exciting indeed. Let's start with the most important thing first, it's pricing. This car starts at 37,000 ringgit, goes all the way up to 51,000 ringgit for this Produa Beza Advance, the top spec 1.3 model. That puts it in between the Asia and the Maivi. It's a very good middle ground, I would say. But don't let the entry level prices fool you. The Beza is a significant step forward for Produa, both in terms of equipment and technologies. There are two engines on offer, a 1.0-litre VVTi engine and this, the 1.3-litre dual VVTi engine. And yes, both engines are called the VVTi engine, no longer the Produa DVVT. So, they've gone full on Toyota and Daihatsu. The smaller 3-cylinder engine is similar to the one in the Asia. It's now upgraded with VVTi and a higher compression ratio for better fuel efficiency. The 4-cylinder 1.3 engine, meanwhile, is brand new, far more advanced than the DVVT unit in the Myvi. Here, dual VVTi is introduced for better economy and improved power. The Beza 1.3 Advance even adds an eco idle system, which automatically turns off the engine when the car stops at a traffic light to save fuel. The Beza 1.0 makes 67 horsepower and 91 Newton meters of torque, 1 HP and 1 Nm more than the Asia, while the Beza 1.3 has 94 horsepower and 121 Newton meters of torque, an improvement of 4 HP and 4 Nm compared to the Myvi 1.3. All Beza variants are claimed to do over 20 km per litre, more than the Asia and Myvi. Prodo expects 85% of Beza customers to buy the 1.3 model, and only 5% to get a 5-speed manual over the 4-speed automatic. Not only is this Prodo's very first sedan, it's also the very first Prodo to have a 100% local design. It's not based on any existing Toyota or Daihatsu model, so this is definitely not a rebadged car. At the front, the white grille extends into the headlamp clusters to give it a wider look. Visually, you couldn't tell that the Beza's overall width is exactly the same as the Asia. The same goes to the rear too, with the long chrome bar leading into the LED taillights. There's also substance to the form, as the Beza is Prodoa's most aerodynamic design yet. It has an impressive drag coefficient of 0.286 compared to 0.33 for the Myvi. Stabilizer fins, a front air spec, and flat underbody covers all contribute to this. Even the tyres are specially developed for the Beza, with 10% less rolling resistance compared to the Asia. Equipment wise, the 1.3 Advanced model gets two tone 14 inch wheels with a turbine design, side skirts, and a whole load of badges on the back. The 1.3 Premium X drops down to simpler 8 spoke wheels, the same as on the Asia. The base 1 litre standard G loses out on the front fog lamps, chrome door handles, and side mirror signal lights. This car sits on a modified Asia platform, so the wheelbase is exactly the same. But now there's a long boot behind the rear wheel, so this car is a lot longer than the hatchback. Overall, it is 510mm longer than the Asia, and just 120mm shorter than Produa's biggest model, the Alza MPV. Once you get to the back, you'll see that the boot is quite tall for a small sedan. But there's a very good reason for that. See. Inside here is a massive, massive boot. How big? You can fit all that in. At 508 litres, the Beza's boot is by far the biggest in its class, perfect for balik kampung trips. It has double the load volume of the Asia, and in fact, it's larger than much bigger cars like the Toyota Vios. Better yet, it does this while keeping a full-size spare tyre underneath the boot floor. And of course, you can fold the rear seats down for extra cargo room. Inside, the Beza has an all-new interior, with the most mature, grown-up design seen from Produa yet. The plastics used are hard, of course, but the textures and fit and finish look and feel good for this price range. Both the one3 liter models get keyless entry and a push start button, and a premium looking gloss black trim across the dashboard. The top 1.3 Advance adds on a touchscreen system with navigation, reverse camera, and a mirror link function for Android smartphones. All but the base 1 liter model gets a USB charger at the rear console. Space in the back is identical to the Asia, which is very spacious indeed for a compact sedan. The backrest, though, can be a little too upright for some people. 
safety-wise, it's another step forward for ProDua, with ABS finally offered on all variants. The Top 1.3 Advance also gets the brand's first electronic stability control system, along with traction control and hill start assist. The top model qualifies for a full 5-star ASEAN NCAP safety rating, while the rest get 4 stars. Right at launch, you can already get full gear up optional accessories. Body kit and interior dress up packages are available from between 900 and 2600 ringgit. So there you go, the brand new Produa Beza. For more details and a full review, check out our website paultan.org. In short, we think this is the real game changer. That's it from me, Hafrisha, signing off. Thanks for watching.